All right, so um, on this one, uh, we're going to talk about angles. We learned about points and rays and um, lines the last time that we were together. And now we're going to put those together into angles. All right, so angles. There's three angles, obtuse, acute, and right angle. Okay, the properties of those angles are as follows. There's an angle that measures 90 degrees. There's an angle that measures less than 90 degrees, and there's an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees. Okay, so the angle that measures 90 degrees is called a right angle. Make sure that you are taking notes and write that down. A right angle is an angle that measures 90 degrees. An angle that measures less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. It's an acute angle because it's so cute, so cute and tiny. It's an acute angle, acute angle. And therefore, an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees is an obtuse angle. It's big and fat. It's a big and fat angle. Okay? So right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle. So go ahead and pause the video here, make the notes that you need to make, and then we'll move on. Okay. So classify these angles below. All right, you've seen right angles before in previous grades, acute angles and obtuse angles, okay? So a right angle is going to be straight up and straight across like you would see at the edge of a square, okay? So like this one, for example. This one right here would be a right angle. It is straight across this way, and it's straight across this way, okay? And a lot of times you'll see right angles will have a little square at the corner of it that indicates it's a right angle. Okay, look on down here and let's see if we can find any more right angles. Is this one a right angle? Let's see, does it go straight up and down? Nope. That one's not a right angle. Oh, this one right here. This one's a right angle. Oops. Just grab my finger, grabbed the wrong one. This one's a right angle. Okay. Straight up and down. Good. Okay. And for an acute angle, remember acute is really tiny and cute. An acute angle is smaller than a right angle. Okay, for example, this would be an acute angle. If I was to draw the right angle like this, the acute angle is smaller than the right angle. All right, what would be another uh, acute angle? Okay, this one right here, good, that'd be an acute angle. This one right here, acute angle. This one right here would be an acute angle. What about this one over here? Let's see. Let's see if we can draw the right angle on it. Oh, it's not smaller than right angle. It's bigger than right angle. So if it's bigger than a right angle, that leaves us with obtuse, which is big and fat. That would be an obtuse one. Obviously, the rest of these are obtuse, bigger than right angle. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't know why we skipped. Get a couple of those. All right. Um, so practice. Let's take a look at each angle and determine the type of angle it is. Drag the magnifying glass over it to see the angle value. Okay. So we've got an angle here. Okay. It's 160 degrees. 160 degrees. So basically, what they're doing is if you take a 90 degrees, I know that's 90 degrees here. This is 90, and this right here is going to be. Uh, 70, right? To make it 160, right? That's a 160 degree angle right there. So is that an acute or an obtuse angle? It's more than 90 degrees. Be obtuse. Good. What about this one over here? This one is 9 degrees. 9 degrees. A lot smaller than 90 degrees, so it would be called an acute angle. Good. Oh, this one down here. Look at this one. That one's straight up and straight over. So that one is a 90 degree angle. That is a, what kind of angle? Measures 90 degrees? A right angle. Take a look at this one. This one's 95 degrees. That one's hard to tell. It almost looks like it's straight up and down, but it's not quite straight up and down. So it's a little more than 90 degrees. So it would be called a obtuse angle. Okay. Well, this one right here, this one is 30 degrees. 30 degrees is smaller than 90 degrees, so it's in a acute angle. And then 110 degrees, more than 90 degrees, would be an obtuse angle. All right, so 
You're going to number your paper from 1 to 5, and we're going to, you're going to answer these questions. So the first one, what type of angle is angle X? What type of angle is angle X? Remember, that would be a right angle. Is it bigger than a right angle? If it's bigger than a right angle, then it should be a B, obtuse angle. Good. All right, number two. An angle that is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is? Okay, so 90 degrees looks like this. 180 degrees is a straight line. So if I was to take this line out and straighten it out. So it would be in this area right here. What would that be called? An angle that is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Okay, obtuse, bigger than 90 degrees. All right, angle X is a right angle, true or false? True. And number four, a right angle is A, smaller than 90 degrees, B, larger than 90 degrees, C, equal to 180 degrees, or D, equal to 90 degrees. D, equal to 90 degrees. And last one, an angle that equals 135 degrees is an acute angle. True or false? False. Okay, an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. Okay, so let's take a look at your homework. All right, so this is not your homework. So hold that thought for just a moment. Okay, so here's your correct homework. Um, let's see, we've got classify each angle as acute, right, or obtuse. I'm not going to help you with any one of those because you should know this. Um, draw and label an example of each. Okay, so if I had a um, an acute angle like this. Okay, it's less than 90 degrees. I'm going to label it P, Q, R. That's what they mean. Okay. Um, an obtuse angle is going to look like that. J, K, L. And you can figure the rest out. Problem solving. Which angles appear to be acute? Okay, so you're going to look at these angles. Um, like let's say G, J, M is an angle. Would that be a an obtuse angle or a right angle? Okay, you've got angle um, G, J, L, which would be the right angle. And then H, J, M is right here. Okay, so figure out if that is an, an acute or an obtuse angle. Um, Number 12, at what time do the hands on a clock represent a right angle? I can let you figure that out. Which is the measure of a right angle? Okay. So remember on a clock, a clock that looks like this. Okay. Figure out which one of these would measure an, a right angle on a clock. All right, WSQ, I want you to tell me the definitions or write me the definition of a right angle an obtuse angle, and an acute angle, and then draw me an example of each. And we'll take a look at that tomorrow. Have a good night. I have some